Today, I'm gonna to show you guys how to set up the Creality K2 Pro 3D printer. This is gonna be a step-by-step -step tutorial guide on how to set up the 3D printer and print your first 3D prints on this machine. Step number one, what we need to do is open up the box, right? If you look on top of your Creality box here, it gives you directions. All you do is pull the tabs from the bottom and then pull it out and then lift all the styrofoam above here and then you can take out your 3D printer. I will say this thing weighs a ton, so just be careful setting it up where you're going to be and lifting it. Step number two, what we want to do next is we want to peel off all the tape because the build plate is on the side here. Start by peeling this here. It might actually help to have a razor blade on you to kind of cut some of this tape free from the build plate. There we have it. And we're going to peel the tape off the front here. Just kind of be careful. Then step number three, what we can do here is we can open up the build plate packaging. So start by peeling this little tab right here on the cardboard envelope and just rip that through. Man, some of this tape is just crazy strong. Cut that. Then the build plate should just come out nicely. Actually, it's not the build plate. That is the glass top. I thought it was the build plate. That's my mistake. Step number four, what we need to do here is take out this styrofoam pieces right here. Pull it all out of here. There's kind of a lot of stuff in here. Also, next what we need to do is pull out this little piece of styrofoam in here. Out. Then next what we need to do here is open the front door here and we need to remove these brackets right here and here. So it looks like there's four screws. There's a screw here, 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 and here. And these little screws are actually Allen wrenches. So what we need to do is find the Allen keys. Come over here to your supplies Then we need to open up this box right here. And we are looking for the Allen keys. So I'll bring that over here. So it is the th third largest Allen key here. So then we're just going to put that in there and then start loosening it. Lefty loosey, righty tighty. And the reason we're removing these screws is actually to be able to remove the CFS that's sitting inside right here. So once all the screws are removed, these four right here, what you're gonna wanna do here is grab this bag and then pull this out from above. Big boy out of here. It should just come out smoothly, like so. And then we can take this out of the plastic down here. All right, now that's out of the plastic. Look how beautiful that looks, the Creality CFS. Next, what we wanna do here is we wanna remove all this foam and such from inside the 3D printer here. So go ahead and pull this out. Sometimes it can be stuck under this thing. And then next, what we wanna do here is we wanna start removing all the rest of the screws that hold these brackets in. So you see these two brackets are here. There is a screw right here. There is a screw right here. And then same with this one here, there's two on the sides. And again, it's the same Allen key to remove these. And all we do is remove all these screws. We also probably wanna remove some of this plastic here. There we go. So yeah, essentially it's the six screws. There's one, two, three, four, five, six on this machine. So it should be the same Allen key that we just used. And what you gotta do is you gotta go underneath here for these two right here, underneath there, and then those two on top. Okay, I'm just getting this one out here. That's what they look like, just little machine screws. And then now that piece is loose. The next we'll do these lower ones. I just about got this one here. There we have it. These ones are kind of hard to get at. I'm gonna be completely honest. If you use the tall end of the Allen key and kind of spin it like this, it seems to work the best, but it's still, man, if you had like a small little drill, this would probably work great in this situation. Next, what we can do is remove these brackets once you get these screws out. So throw that on the ground. Then this can also come out here. And what you wanna do is not leave the screws in there. So as you can see, both of the screws came with this one, and then there's a screw left in here. So we're gonna remove that, 
And then next what we want to do here is we want to pull these screw rod holders out of here. So just pull these out, kind of give them a yank. They're just kind of hold, they're just kind of like holding things together. Ugh. So that's that. There should be four of them, two on each side. And it looks like these are actually just 3D printed, which is kind of cool. And then it also says, please tear off the sticker before use. What you want to do is just make sure you got all the packaging out of the Creality 3D printer itself. Pull that. I don't like how that left residue. Ew, why, why? The next step on setting up our Creality K2 Pro is we need to remove these Allen screws on the sides of the build plate here. There should be four of them. So what you wanna do here, these screws are actually Allen screws. We've been using this size here, but actually what we need now is this largest size of all the Allens it came with. So then what you do here is just put the Allen in there and remove all four of those screws. And remember, lefty, loosey, righty, tighty. I feel like I'm gonna say that like 15 times during this video. All right, that is the last screw. It's actually a pretty long screw and I'm guessing what this does is it just holds the build plate down during shipping. The next step, what we need to do here is is come on over to this area. You see this green tape right here? What we need to do is peel this back. There's actually a ribbon in here for the display. So what you wanna do is kinda of just gently peel this back, try not to harm the ribbon back there. And then next, what we need to do here, see if I can change this view. We need to change this ribbon and bend it this way and poke it through the front hole of this face right here. See how it's kind of poking out there? Right there, see that? Then kind of just lightly pull it through. Then what we need to do is go and find the display. There's a small little display that goes right there. So go on over to your accessories over here in the styrofoam. And I'm guessing this is it right here. So just kind of pull this out right here. It's in a little bag. Okay, and so what has to happen here is this has to plug into the pigtail connector on the inside of there. See, this should directly connect like so, and then it should pop into this these little holes, and then you slide it to the left. The hard part is actually going to be kind of connecting this pigtail, because as you can see here, it has to line up perfectly to the inside of that pigtail. And it looks like it just directly kind of just plugs in there. All right, so we'll see how difficult this is here. If you have big fingers, it's probably not going to be easy. So you just kind of start the pigtail and then just kind of go for it once you get it in there. Then what we need to do next here is we need to prop this up and then fit these prongs into the holes here and then kind of just slot it in there. It should slot in there very nicely. Don't force it in there and then push it to the left. And there you have it. Then what you can do is kind of press the display down like so at an angle. See that? And then next we can peel the plastic. This is one of my favorite things to do in the world. Ah, I love that. Next, what we can do is put the glass lid on top. So maybe shut the door if you have that open, then go on over to your supplies, find the glass lid, unwrap it completely. You know, it comes with a plastic layer on top of it. I already removed that, then put it on top. You know, I'm kind of just blown away by like how large this 3D printer is. For those of you that have uh, that have it and it are, they're setting it up, isn't this thing heavy like in comparison to like some of the other 3D printers you've dealt with? I'm thoroughly blown away with like the mass, like durability of this thing. And now that the glass lid is on top, what we can do is now put the CFS on top of the 3D printer itself. There we have it. The next step, what we need to do here is go on over to your supplies and find this little thing called the filament buffer. It's this thing right here. And then next, what we need to do here is there's two screws that need to screw into this. It's going to the back of the 3D printer. So what we need to do here is find those screws. They are in this small little bag here. So probably just give this a dump in and these are the screws right here. It says buffer screws. There's two small ones. Those are going to go right in here. So grab those out of the bag. And because we're putting in these little Allen screws, we're going to need an Allen wrench. So what you want is the third largest one. This is the fourth. You need the third largest size here. This is going to be the size you need. So grab all of this. And then we are going to the back of the 3D printer. On the table. Okay, that's a lot better. So then what we need to do here, there's a spot right when you're looking at the back here this is the location of it see right here so this 
thing right here, we need the single PTFE tube holder to point that way, and then the four of these to point that way, if that makes sense. Because what's gonna happen here is the, PTF, the PTFE tube is gonna connect here from the machine, come over and connect into this single outlet here, and then the four of these are gonna connect up to the CMF. All right, so here is the screws. You can kind of just plop them in here because they stay in there and then they pop out the bottom. So then kind of just line them up. Remember the single side on this side, maybe just start both of them to get them lined up. So that's nice and sturdy. Next, what we need to do is find the PTFE tube that connects from here to here. And then there's also gonna be one that connects from this side up to this unit here. So go on over to your accessories here. And if you dig in the bag here, there's a couple of them. This says PTFE tube short, and you can kind of see in the diagram, that's exactly the one we need. So that's the short one. And then the long one goes from the other side. See the other side where it has four of those connectors, and then it connects to this for the CFS. And with these PTFE tubes, it should just press in, and then you'll feel it kind of click. So watch this. See that? And then it doesn't release. That's how these PTFE tubes work. And then for this one, same thing. Just plop it in there, push, push, and you should feel it click. And then this one connects from the CFS here. Just press it in there, and then it should click. And then as far as this one, there's four different ones to put it into. So what you want to do here is go back over to the diagram and have a look at which one it shows us to connect to. It's that one right there. It's the top left. So make sure to click it into that one. So we're going to come back over here and then click it into the top left. And there you have it. You have the PTFE tubes connected to the CFS and this device. All right, so next what we need to do here is we need to set up some cords. So the CFS has two inputs for cords. One of the cords is going to plug from here into this device here, and then one from that side down into the 3D printer down in the corner. So go on over to your accessories, and there's a couple cables in here, and it has diagrams on here to show you exactly which one is which. That one goes from the CFS to the 3D printer, and then this one goes from the CFS to that device in the back there. So let's just start connecting these, and it should just connect like so. See how the pigtail kind of has that clicker up there? So just plug that in to the left side there, kind of push it in and click it. And then down here at the top of this device right here, this should just plug in the same way. So turn it to make sure that the pigtail lines up here and then click it down. And there you, there you have it, that is plugged in for that. Okay, so that is the right side over here. So plug that one in right there. You gotta make sure it clicks in. You'll kind of feel it or hear it click. And then the other end of it goes down here on the actual 3D printer in the corner of it. So then just kind of plug that in like so. And then that is set up. Make sure it's all nice and connected. Double check all your pigtails and cords should be good. Next, what we need to do here is find the power cable, and then we're gonna plug it into the back of here so we can power up the 3D printer itself. Come back to your accessories over here. This is the power cable here. Comes with a little twist tie in here, so remove that. You can kind of unwind that a little bit, stretch it out. And this is the end that we plug into the 3D printer over here, like so. This is really simple. Just kind of line it up like that and then push it in and then plug it into an outlet near you. All right, so I have the 3D printer plugged in. Now what we can do here is we can go on the back here and there's a little power switch right here. Hit that and then the 3D printer should power on. And then next what's gonna happen here is on the display, it's gonna walk you through a bunch of prompts. What it's gonna do is it's probably gonna have you sign up for an account, connect to the Wi-Fi, and then calibrate it. I'm not gonna walk you through this step because I don't want you to see any of my sensitive data, but this is what you need to do next. Yeah, so here it is doing the self-check diagnostic, so it's gonna run through all of this. All right guys, next what we're gonna do is we are going to go into the app store on your phone and we need to search for the Creality app. So make sure to spell it right, Creality Cloud is what it's called. Then go to Creality Cloud right here, this is what it looks like, click on download. I already signed up, you're gonna have to log in, if you don't have an account, you're gonna have to create one. Then on this tab down here where it says Workbench right here, it says 
this is how you add your devices, which are your 3D printers. What I tend to do is click on scan code to add devices. And then next what we need to do here is you need to go into the settings of your machine here, this button right here where it says virtual settings, then go to, or actually what you need to do here, the settings tab is down here, sorry. So go to the settings tab here, then in the upper right hand corner, click account, and then it will scan this QR code. Then what you wanna do here is you wanna name your device. I'll just name it that, then click on finish. And now you have added your Creality K2 Pro to your Creality app account so that you can do things from your phone. All right, so we're getting really close to actually 3D printing on the Creality K2 Pro. Next, what we need to do is add filament. We're almost there, guys. So we need to open the CFS. There's little latches here on the side. Make sure you click it out on each side on both, and then you can just open it like so. And then what you need to do is find your filament. I have some filament over here. I'm just gonna throw some random colors in here. And then all you kind of have to do here is put the roll of filament right inside this section right here. And then next, all you have to do is start feeding the filament in this little PTF tube grabber. Once you feed it in there, it should automatically grab, just like so. Then as that feeds, I'm going to grab another roll of filament here. Put that one right here. It's really cool because it auto feeds and I really like this feature. Then what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna jump in the Creality app and try to print something really quick. So if you click on right here where it says print from local files, you can actually just bring up things locally. So I'm gonna quick bring up the spatula. Then all I have to do is select the PLA from the CFS, then click on print right here. Okay, so I'm gonna select the filament that's in there. By editing it, you can choose the brand here. I'm just going to do generic, and then the type, I'm going to do PLA, because that's what it is. And then a name, generic PLA, click save. Now I should be able to print, choose that one there, confirm, and then click on print. So just make sure that you have your PLA or the type of filament chosen in that setting. There you have it guys, the 3D print turned out amazing on this super great 3D printer. Hopefully this video helped you learn how to set up and 3D print on your Creality K2 Pro. By the way, chances are you're going to have to learn how to use the Creality Slicer. If you're interested in that, I'll put a full tutorial video right here on the screen. So make sure to check that out and don't forget to subscribe to the channel guys. I have all kinds of amazing 3D printing content here.